Welcome back, chemistry students, to day three of our journey into IUPAC nomenclature. In our previous classes, we covered the fundamentals of naming simple alkanes, alkenes, and alkynes. Today, we'll take our knowledge to the next level by learning how to name organic compounds with functional groups. This is where the real fun begins, so let's get started. Before we dive into today's topic, let's quickly review what we've learned so far. We've covered the importance of systematic naming, the role of IUPAC, and how to name alkanes, alkanes, and alkenes. Understanding these concepts is crucial as we move forward. Functional groups are specific arrangements of atoms or bonds within organic molecules. They are the key players in determining the chemical properties of compounds. In this class, we'll focus on naming compounds with functional groups. We'll start by exploring alcohols. Alcohols contain an O group. To name them, identify the longest carbon chain containing the O group. Number the chain to give the O group the lowest possible number. Add the suffix ol to the end of the name. Let's practice with ethanol, which has two carbon atoms and an O group. What's the IUPAC name for ethanol? Moving on to ketones, these compounds have a carbonyl group, C equals sign O. When naming ketones, identify the longest carbon chain containing the carbonyl group. Number the chain to give the carbonyl group the lowest possible number. Add the suffix 1 to the end of the name. Let's try naming propanone, which has a 3-carbon chain and a carbonyl group. What's its IUPAC name? Aldehydes also contain a carbonyl group, C equals sign O, but it's always at the end of the carbon chain. When naming aldehydes, identify the longest carbon chain. Use the suffix al to indicate an aldehyde. Number the chain to give the aldehyde group the lowest possible number. Now, let's name methanol, which has a single carbon chain and an aldehyde group at the end. Can you provide its IUPAC name? It's time for some hands-on practice. Try naming compounds with functional groups, butanol, ethanol, and pentanone. As we tackle more complex compounds, be careful not to overlook functional groups, misnumber the carbon chain, or forget to use the appropriate suffixes or prefixes. Fantastic work today, students. You've taken the next step in mastering IUPAC nomenclature by learning how to name compounds.